Hi, I'm Lauren. Hi, I'm Patricia. And I'm Jenilyn. Today we are going to be talking about freshwater biomes. So, Mr. Fish, what is exactly a freshwater biome? Blub blub. Large communities of plants and animals centered around waters with less than 1% salt concentration. Blub blub. Thank you. So Lauren, what are some plants in freshwater biomes? Well, Patricia, some common plants are mangrove leaves, spike rush, water lily, cattail, bulrush, pickerel weed, grass, and sedge. Why, thank you. <sighs> Kitty here needs a new friend. Let's go exploring for one. Oh, look at those fish inside, what do you think? There's an alligator right there! Hi guys, there's an otter in here! <gasps> Those beavers down there! Those birds! Oh, insects! Insects. All of these plants and animals can actually be found in <gasps> ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, and estuaries. They can be found anywhere! Ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, and estuaries. water biomes, the climate is typically 39 to 70 degrees, while in winter it is 35 to 45 and in summer being 65 to 75. You got that, Fields? Oh, Freshy, tell me, what's the first reason we're here today? There are actually three. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Well, there's non-point source pollution. Our fertilizers are putting chemicals into my water, polluting them and killing off all of the organisms. I'm so sorry to hear that. Is there any way we can help? No. You just have to kill off every plant that uses fertilizer, and they can't do that. Okay, what about the second thing? The second thing is non point source pollution. Our factories are dumping chemicals into my water <laughs> from factory smokestacks and pipes. It's so bad. <sighs> okay, and the third one? The third one. It's those invasive species. <laughs> Thing you've been dealing with? Those invasive species. Can you elaborate on that? The peskiest of them all are those zebra mussels. They're just killing off all of the natives. The natives! The species! They don't do anything wrong. The zebra mussels just suffocate them! Humans are here to help. But not really, the earth is actually dying. I'm very sorry. Thanks for watching! Clink!